obviously um, great to be back into it. Um, you played your last game a couple of weeks ago. You're likely to play this weekend. I mean, it's just non-stop footy at the moment. No, it's good. I mean, that's why I do it. I think I've got, I've got lucky to be in a situation where I miss all the running in pre-season and playing more rugby is what, is what we like to do. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I think some of the boys are a bit jealous, but yeah. I'm not complaining. Do you feel like a bit of a trailblazer playing the, the two seasons in, in one year? No, not at all. I, 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 I tend to enjoy it. I think it's changed, changed my perspective of the way I should play and the way I adapt in games in Japan is obviously a bit different style of rugby, which I think helped me a lot in the way I should approach things come Super Rugby. But yeah, I think I'll benefit from it. Was in what way? More professional? Or no, not more professional. Just the way they, for instance, that they tackle. They all tackle low. They don't give you time to run. They t dive feet. So you tend to have to use more of your feet. As a bigger guy, you tend to run more straight. But over there, you've got to um, sort of use a bit more footwork and stuff. The pace of the game was fairly high. I think when I first got there, going to shock my system a bit, but I think that obviously that will help me coming into Super Rugby a bit. So you're going to hit the ground running almost? Eh? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the plan, that's why I'm playing this weekend a little hit out and then we'll see from there. I think there's four, four tired props at the moment, so it's be hard to get up and keep going again, So, but it's good, I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to get a go this weekend, or it's going to be a rotation? Yeah, there's three of us playing. It's me, Les and Benny A all game, having a game. Um, I think the plan is for me to get maybe 15, 20 minutes in the back end, where Les and Benny obviously playing the most majority of the game because they've been here for the pre-season and stuff, which is obviously understandable. But I'm just happy that I can get a run up, come back straight into it. Was it nice, I guess, over there just to get away, a new culture, just something a bit different off the field too? That's one, that's one thing I... The reasons why I went to it is just to mentally refresh a bit. I mean, I was here not long, but three years doing all the same stuff and stuff. Things is it's nice, but going back mentally refreshing, something new, different coaching techniques, different approaches to things, which, which really mentally refreshed me coming here. So, and also made me a lot more excited coming back here as well. So, I think it was good. Was there any thoughts to not coming back over here? No, not at all. I've, I've, the agreement was I can go back there, but then I have to resign here as well. So the turn was never to go there and just stay there. Um, I always wanted to come back. So I'm fortunate that they said it's good that I can have a go over there. Oh, you talked about um, the other tight head props that you're up against this year. Like, I mean, it's a pretty tough to get into that rotation. Benny A is driven by what happened to World Cup. Yeah. Les was injured most of last year, and yeah. now you're coming back in as well. Yeah, it's hard, man. I think I personally feel that I'm. I have to start at the bottom. I think those guys have got a massive head start. Although I've been playing a lot, they've they've had a massive preseason and um, trained together all the majority of the season, and they know the combinations and they're all doing well. They're all in good shape and looking forward. Benny A is looking the best I've seen him look. So Lazy is also just improving a lot more. And then you've got Young Tyrell as well that's up there. So Mate, it's going to be hard, but I'll just have to when I get my opportunity, I'll just have to use it. I know you talked about the different game style that they have in Japan, um, like with smaller blokes and that sort of thing. How does that then transfer back into Super Rugby for you, do you think? Did, did you learn things over there that you can bring into your game here? Yeah, or? definitely. I, I think the way I, I carry, for instance, in Japan, I've got, you, in Super Rugby you tend to carry hard and straight, but whereas in Japan you don't have much time because they all rush up to you, they tackle you low. You don't have much time to do anything. So for me, I think using my footwork a lot more in the ball, uh, carrying side of things. And also just, like I said, the pace of the game will help me. Last year was a bit of, some games were obviously come off the bench and struggle a bit with the pace. But I think going to this year, the pace of the Japanese rugby is up there. It's very high. So the physicality might not be up there, but also the pace will, will definitely benefit me coming back. But you're also going out of, um Pretty cold. So yeah. The temperatures into got a nice hot day for you today. Yeah, I come here. I, I thought I was I was fairly brown by by normal. I come here. All the boys got a nice tan. <laughs> I've got. I mean, it's snowing where where I, where I live now in Japan. But yeah, no, I think I'll have to sit out in the balcony with a shirt off or but <laughs> just to blend in a bit. Man, I look like a, like a Brit, Brit, British man, an Englishman. <laughs> What's, what's the general plan this, this weekend in Wagga, just to try and get some, yeah. some miles in the legs of as many blokes yeah. as possible? Yeah, that's, I think that's just that, that's the aim of it, just to see. We're not doing too much of a structure stuff, yeah. just go out and play, get, get a bit of game fitness, I think. Maybe all the, some of the things has changed and stuff, just to take that out on the field against someone else. 
But that's about it. I don't think there's anything that we want to achieve besides what we've worked on or what the boys have worked on in the oh, prison oh, structure-wise. Yeah, blow the cobwebs up, get the new structures, stuff we've learned. So. And Mario Ledesma is an interesting observer this morning. Yeah, yeah, he's always... No, I, I see him scoping around when I'm not in the scrums and stuff, scoping, having a look. So I think it'd be good if he could, if obviously we don't have much time with him, but good if we can maybe get him, have, have him down a bit more. Obviously he's helped the Wallabies a lot, so he know, knows what he's doing. But today he didn't really do too much, I think it was just more observing. So hopefully he comes down again and helps us a bit more.